Hello everyone, this is Mimi with another tutorial, just a quickie, short one here. I have recently recently discovered something when I was saving my tea bags and letting them dry out because I want to make a tea bag journal that um, the paper towels I put under them was just absolutely gorgeous. So in my mind I was thinking, okay, well, how can I use these in my crafts? So I decided to tear them up in uh, little shreds. You know, like um, how we tear fabric. I just took and tore them um, in long um, strips. And then I decided to, you know, just play around with it, see what I could come up with. Um, I think they're absolutely beautiful. They have um, a very tea stain look. Some, some edges are a little darker than the other. And so I just had to do something with them. I just thought, you know, I can't throw them away. So... I got my glue gun out and um, some working on some tags here and just put like a clip or clip on the back of them. These were some clips that I had left over from my granddaughter when I was making her hair, hair um, bows. And so I made these up and I thought they turned out so pretty. I made just regular flowers out of them, made some roses and I just think they're just gorgeous. I mean, out of just something that you're gonna throw in the trash. That's what I love. That's what I love about crafting. It's thinking up things and doing things with things that you would not normally do it with. So um, I wanted to just kind of show y'all real quickly uh, how I did this. Um, everybody knows how to make up flowers, but anyway, I just was gonna do a little quick um, tutorial here. I just show you how I put, piece this all together and come up with these beautiful flowers. And like I said, I used my hot glue gun. Um, you could use Fabri-Tac, but I found the hot glue gun worked better for me on this particular, particular project. So what I'm doing here is I'm just taking and kind of, um, you know, when you're making a bow, you kind of just gather up the, the material or whatever you're using, the ribbon, and I just put some glue down and kind of for my base and just kind of went around and did this all the way around, um, like making a flower. And just the one thing about this tip particular, the paper towels, these are the kind that make into short paper towels. Um, this isn't the long ones. So um, I, next time I'm gonna try, I'm gonna buy some long, the ones that are the regular size. Um, these are got perforated. You can make them any size you want to. So I normally buy those, but I'm gonna buy some longer ones to kind of try that next time. Um, but and there I'm showing you the Fabri-Tac. You could use that too to do this, just depending on whatever you have available or whatever you like to use as far as glue goes. And anyway, I'm just starting to, now I'm just gonna put them on there, just strips at a time. I'm not making the little ribbon thing out of it. Um, just keep gluing them down on there and until I'm satisfied with the way it looks. And, you know, there's all kinds of flowers you could probably make with these. These are just three examples here that I've come up with. And um, it was just fun to do. A fun little quick project that uh, you could do up little small flowers, um, just whatever you needed for your projects. Um, these would be pretty on anything. I mean, even if you were not making junk journals or making ephemera or tags or whatever, um, I think they would be pretty on um, just, you know, if you're making a basket or a, a something for your wall, a hanger, you know, something to hang. Um, just like I was making those beautiful hearts, wired hearts, you know, they would be pretty on something like that, especially the rose ones that I make. But see how beautiful that um, paper towel looks? I mean, it just stained up so pretty. I had probably used the same paper towel about four or five times um, saving my um, paper towels. And so that's why it has that really deep tea stain look uh, in certain areas. But there I just kind of made like a little bud to go in the middle, just something to kind of give it... You could put a button there, you know, uh, something else, but I just decided to use the same paper towel. But doesn't that look pretty? I just think it turned out so cute. I love it. And then, you know, on your back, you can cut out circles and put on the back. 
um, and put your hair clip on there, or you don't even have to do that. You, I just did that to where the removable, uh, you could just glue them down. But here I'm gonna make a, uh, a rose, and all I'm doing is just like before, I put some glue as down for my base to kind of give me something to kind of work with. And just going around, um, I'm not just being real perfect about this, uh, just kind of gluing it down and um, there's different techniques as to make roses, but this is kind of the way I do it. So I'm sure there's better ways out there to do it, but I just thought this project was so neat and I had to share it with everyone because I haven't seen, um, I'm sure people have made these before. Um, I'm sure it's not the first time you've seen this, but I just thought it was a neat idea. And you know, sometimes things that we naturally throw away, we can actually uh, recycle and use for something else. And what better way to use it than in our crafts. So um, that's kind of what I'm doing here, just uh, making up this pretty little rose. And uh, I can't wait for y'all to see all the different ones that I made up. I made up quite a few. And like I said, I'm making a tag book up. I have um, some big black, um, I think they're graphic 45, is it 45? I think that's what it is. Um, tags, it's, they have like a ring, by, ring that holds them together. So I'm gonna make up like a little tag book out of it, journal. And um, I love the colors in it. They're, I'm using the creams and the, the browns, the blacks, the uh, different colors like that, just the no color in there. So um, it's gonna be really pretty when I get finished with it. I love doing things like, like that. I love making embellishments and ephemera and collages. They're one of my favorite things to do. Um, I guess because it's kind of like you're doing something different, so I enjoy doing them. And, uh, but see how this rose is turning out? I think it's just turning out so pretty. And it was easy to work with this paper towels. I was surprised at how easy it just, um, it's kind of, you know, like paper, so it was easy to manipulate it and make it do what I want to, and actually it didn't hurt my fingers even using the glue gun with it. I was surprised about that. I did get a lot of hot glue on my fingers, but oh well. It didn't hurt though for some reason. But anyway, uh, let's see what I'm gonna do this here. I'm fixing to make up another flower, and this flower is actually gonna be one that I'm gonna do the ribbon technique again, but actually gonna keep it that way all the way around. There it is, there's a final product there that I made. So I'm sure there's, you know, play around with it. There's um, different flowers that you can do. Um, just something, like I said, something fun to do. So um, experiment and, and save your paper towels. I, you know, I just thought about this, but what, what a cool idea would be to um, even do them in different colors, you know, like maybe put a little, um, of your uh, dye in there and make them up and do them up in pinks and, and purples and you know different colors I think would be pretty. Um, I, I was watching a tutorial, I mean not a tutorial, somebody was showing uh, how they took their acrylic paints and colored their ribbons and, and laces and stuff with their acrylic paints and my mom and I were talking about that and I said, she said she was gonna give it a try so I'm anxious to see how that's gonna turn out. Um, some people use different things, you know, food coloring and stuff to dye their ribbons and stuff and their, their laces. So I've tried that and in my papers, I've done that with my papers when I did some dyeing on my papers. So, but this one's coming together really pretty too. I just love the way it's doing. And um, so I just kept putting uh, some little pieces on there and uh, till I thought I really liked the way it was looking. And, and then on the, in the center, like I said, um, you could put all kinds of things, you know, buttons would be really cute, but I just took some paper and just um, rolled it up and kind of stuck it in the center. So you'll see here, uh, that's what I'm fixing to do now. And basically it's just kind of scrunching it up, you know and making a center out of it. I wasn't being very particular about doing this because I figured, you know, these are shabby flowers, so uh, you can make them look 
you know, as nice as you want or shabby as you want. Just, you know, don't overthink it. That's the way I, I, I try to tell myself. So there you go. Another beautiful flower. Thank y'all so much for watching and y'all have a blessed day. And continue to watch because I'm going to show you how I just took little pieces of this paper towels and made another little flower out of it. Okay, watch in the end because I got some really pretty pictures too. Thank y'all.